In today's video, we're gonna be doing a comparison of the ADJ 5P Hex, not to be confused with the 5PX Hex and the ADJ Mega Hex Par. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some key points that differentiate these two lights, even though they look pretty similar. And towards the end of the video, we'll be doing a shootout lighting comparison where I put both of these lights next to each other so that you can see what their beam angles look like, see how their colors differ, and all sorts of things like that. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that. So the first thing I would like to say is I do use a 5P hex for the backlighting behind my desk in most of my videos. One key thing that I'd like to add before we get deep into the video is that this is going to be a comparison. I'm gonna do a separate review of the Mega Hex Par on my channel. This is gonna look at some of the features, not all of the features comparing these lights. So let's chat about hex LED. Hex LED is actually talking about the colors of LED that can be produced through the light. So in the case of hex LED, it's red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV or black light. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be doing a test of both of these next to each other. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but definitely stick around to the, that end part of the video. As far as things go for the LEDs that are built into these two lights, technically speaking, this light is brighter than this light. And I'm gonna tell you right now, their brightness looks very, very similar. We'll be taking a look at that specifically in my tests later in the video when we do that shootout that I've mentioned. On a price tier, this light is still in production and this light goes for around $115. Now this light has been discontinued. It originally went for about $190 and it does have an updated version. It's called the 5PX Hex and that version costs about $210. I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, to both Amazon and KPO DJ for both of these lights. If you use that Amazon link, you will be helping to support the channel, so I would appreciate that very much. This light weighs a lot more than this one. I'd say probably double. Obviously, that's stemming from this light having a plastic enclosure and this light having a metal one. Personally, I don't really have a huge preference, and one key thing that I think a lot of videos are gonna breeze over is the fact that you can fit four of these in an F4 par bag. This is the Mega Hex par. You cannot fit four 5P hexes or 5PX hexes in an F4 par bag. But that is one little pet peeve I have is that I like to store my pars in an F4 bag. Though, interestingly enough, if you have an F2 par bag like this that fits two pars, you can fit two Mega Hex pars or you can fit two 5P hexes. You will see a slight difference in the design of the 5P hex versus the mega hex par that I'm holding. Inputs and outputs. This has the outputs on one side and the inputs on the other, whereas the 5P hex has them all on one side. One key difference that may go overlooked is that the yoke or bracket on this light is a sort of scissor yoke. I believe that's what they call it. The yoke is only attached on one part and then the other part of the yoke is attached to this piece, so they move in unison. And this can be good if you're trying to sit it on a floor, you can press on it and it's not gonna press down. That's personally a feature that I really like when I'm sitting pars on the floor, whether you're using it for uplighting, anything like that. In the case of the 5P hex here, its yoke or bracket is a traditional scissor bracket. So if you press down on it, you have to have it tightened down really, really hard and you can pretty much still push right through it. Now, I have it really tight and it's hard for me to press it like this, but you can see I can still get it pressed open like that. And also before I get to mention it, I do mention this in the review, but I wanted to mention it really quickly in this comparison video as well. The Mega Hex Par actually comes with a safety cable, a remote, and an Airstream IR little headphone plug-in thing. So we're gonna go and do that shootout of these two lights comparing their beams and their colors and everything like that right now. So here you can see the reds compared. You see this hot spot on the right for the 5P hex that does not actually show to the naked eye, so just disregard that, they look really similar. Now onto the greens. They look extremely similar on camera and to the naked eye, so basically the same. Now on to the blues. The 5P hex doesn't look as purple as it does on camera. 
it's not very purple to the human eye so again they look very similar the whites are extremely similar now onto the amber on the mega hex par the amber is actually a lot deeper orange and it's much more vibrant closer to the light than it is on the 5p hex now onto the uv both of them look pretty similar but as you can see on the sticky note on the left side here for the mega hex part it seems to be putting out more purple light because you see more coming off of the sticky note and the sticky note is not necessarily very reflective or uv reflective now i'm putting a very very highly uv reflective piece of foam in front of both lights and what you can actually see is that the 5p hex makes this reflect a lot of light and although it's hard to tell the mega hex par put out a little bit less light from true uv and uv reflection and more purple light when i put this white piece of foam in front of both lights it's really hard to see on camera but trust me it put out a little bit less light that would make sense because it does have a little bit less LED power pushing light out of it. Thank you for sticking with me this long. The inner bits of these two lights are extremely similar. I am a little bit hesitant to believe that both of these lights are different LEDs inside because realistically they look identical as far as the output lumens wise. So price wise, there is quite the difference in these two lights. Obviously you cannot buy the 5P hex anymore. It's now the 5P X hex. And the key thing on the 5P X hex is that instead of IEC in and out, you actually have power con, which may be detrimental to you. I personally got 5P hexes because I wanted the IEC in and out because that's what all of my lights use. So ADJ is definitely trying to go in a more professional direction with the 5P hex. So if you use lights that have power con in and outputs, you may want to go with the more professional 5P X hex. Now, on the other hand, if we come over to the mega hex par i think this is a really really great value light i'm sure you can get a pretty good deal on a pack of four of these with a bag and some dmx cables i think this has a great bang for the buck so we're talking about 115 dollars and about 210 dollars. so knowing what i know now i personally wish that i went with the cheaper version I don't care much about a plastic housing. I actually prefer the yoke. So that is my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and let me know if you are thinking about buying these and make sure to check out that link to my specific review of the Mega Hex Par in the description. That's gonna wrap this one up. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that notification bell to stay up to date. I'll see you in the next one, but until next time, peace.